Hello everyone. It is Monday, June 28th. It's summertime here in the southeast of the United States. I'm in Arkansas. How are you? Let me know where you are in the comments, please. Um, but yeah, out here in the shade in Arkansas, central Arkansas, Little Rock at that. It is, let's see if I can get a reading on this, uh, way over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And let me see if I can, sorry, walking through my trees and stuff. In the sun, it's reading, let's see, 99.8 degrees. So it's really hot, but I've still got some stuff going on out here that's aquatic related. Uh, aside from the ponds and the outdoor fish and stuff, I have a trash can and some buckets that I leave out all the time. Not just to have flies hover around, but to also have mosquitoes and you know, whatever. Apparently there's a bee there. Or is it a bee or a good news bee? It might be a hoverfly. I think it's a hoverfly. But anyway, what I wanted to show you is this. This is my stash of free tropical fish food. And net, fine mesh net, dip, catch mosquito larva. Um, I'm capable of doing a much better job than that when I've got two hands and such, but I do this pretty frequently. And I was actually hoping to catch something else. You can also see that there's some red things in here. Those are blood worms, those are midge larva. Um, I don't think the hoverfly is going to make good fish food, but they're pretty good. These are also known as good news bees. They are not bees. They uh, have a, a bit of a defense mechanism with that yellow and black thing bearing up. And anyway, I guess I'm not going to be able to actually catch what I was trying to catch, which wasn't going to be blood worms or mosquito larvae. But I've noticed that... Uh, by one of the miracles of nature, I now have um, pond snails growing in here. And as opposed to bladder snails, which look very similar, but have some kind of yellow spots on their shells, and also have uh, a... Let's see, no, that's a berry, not a snail. Um, yeah, those are just berries. Anyway, uh, they've got an opposite whorl pattern to their uh, shell, but anyway... Let's, Go right on in here, I'll show you what I do with this stuff. By virtue of adding lots of biodiversity, I'm simply dumping this stuff right into my tanks. Um, I feed the different fish at different times, do different things, but I just love watching this stuff. And you may have seen my uh, video earlier from me feeding the garamis in my son's room mosquito larvae and blood worms, but these guys just absolutely go nuts on it. And you can see there's also some, some plant foliage, a couple berries, a little bit of leaf litter that falls in there along with the other stuff. And that's fine. That's just fine. That's just food for fish, food for infusoria. Uh, leaf litter is A-OK. -okay. Um, I don't at all prevent it from coming in here. I kind of limit the amount that goes in. Otherwise I'd have maybe a little too much that might affect the water quality, but I don't mind at all dumping in that stuff. And you may find that if you've got a trash can or buckets or something outside that just stays out like mine, uh, you may notice that it begins to get a bit of a foul smell to it. That's fine also. It's not like I'm dumping foul water in here. Yes, it's definitely going to have some of the biology uh, that's in that water that comes along with things like little bits of leaf litter. So yeah, there's definitely going to be some of that bacteria. But as I see it from my experience after doing this for months in a number of tanks, um, it's beneficial. I don't, I don't see anything at all wrong with it. And I'm trying, this is a fairly new tank. Uh, not that it's in age-wise very new, but I, I converted it to deep substrate just a, I don't know, like more than a month ago. But I don't know. I don't keep very good records, and my memory's not very good. So I'd have to look back in my journal to know exactly when I did it. Or maybe you could look back in some of my YouTube videos find out exactly when I did it. I, I definitely posted a video of when I was doing this. 
but this is my oldest 55 gallon previously a wallstad method now a deep substrate tank a la father fish and i'm just loving it furthermore i'm really enjoying just dumping the diversity in here dumping the biological diversity there are lots of plants that were literally came out of my yard uh, these came out of my grandmother's yard some of these came out of my yard a lot of these came out of my yard in fact uh, some of them are tests like I didn't know what this guy was going to do. This is the, well, it's that, a Phylloxides uh, alligator weed. I didn't know what it was going to do. It's not really a suitable aquarium plant because it gets so tall, but it's cool. I enjoy it. And I would encourage others to do this as well. Dump some stuff in there. Don't be scared. Yeah, maybe it's going to cause some things that you weren't expecting, but just watch it and enjoy it. Uh, it will come along with bacteria, with algae, with beneficial stuff, but that's what's supposed to be in an aquatic environment. Um, the reason I know that is because it's in all aquatic environments. So don't hesitate trying to recreate something like that. Just enjoy it. I certainly do, and I hope you've uh, gained something from this. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. Uh, Zen Kitty says hi, and. Uh, that he doesn't like baths so he just had a bath and he's trying to tell me i want to go outside anyway catch you guys later enjoy the week happy summertime later